welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Sh If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We have just started our fifth year of homeschooling, which is just, I mean, so crazy to say. We have a nine-year-old and a five-year-old. Now, these ages are going to come into play in a minute because you're going to agree that I'm absolutely insane. So, stay tuned. Today, I want to talk with you about puzzles in your homeschool. I feel like puzzles get kind of a bad rap, or at least not enough awesome credit. So today, stay tuned, we are going to be looking at one of the, no, absolutely probably the craziest puzzle I have ever, ever gotten my hands on, guys, ever. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, and give this video a thumbs up. So, th there's like, okay, so I have to give you the backstory. So the backstory is that, you guys know, I, um, I apply sometimes to review products for Timberdoodle. And the nice people over at Timberdoodle are like, yay, we like you, yay, we're gonna send you some stuff, yay. And I'm like, yay, and it's all like, yay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's what happened. That's what happened. And then I, um, I saw, we, we like puzzles. And I got real excited. And I saw that one of the things that I could apply to review was a set, set, this is important, set, of seven puzzles about human anatomy. I got real excited because we've been to Body Worlds this past year, my kiddo is loving the Dr. Bonified series that came in our curriculum kits from Timberdoodle and we got real excited and I'm so excited and the puzzles are pretty and I like it. Um, seven, 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 did I say seven? Set of seven puzzles, guys got really excited and I was like, yes, I want to do that. I'm so excited. We love puzzles. Puzzles are awesome. We use them in our home school. My kids like to do them. Everyone in my house likes puzzles. This is a great idea. And then, and then the puzzles, the puzzles they got here. I'm gonna cut over to that. I'm gonna show you that. Guys, there are seven puzzles. Okay guys, the people at Timberdoodle were wonderful enough to let me apply for and then selected me for a review, which quite honestly, if you know the ages of my kids, I probably have zero business doing. But if you are a homeschool mom like me, and as you know, you don't teach down to your kids, right? Like you lift them up, you raise them up, you make them stretch. So we are going to be over the course of the next month as a family summer project, putting together the complete set. We have all seven volumes of the Dr. Livingston's Anatomy Jigsaw Puzzle. And I am so excited to share with you. It's gonna be like quite the event, okay? But look at this. So here's just the head. There's seven pieces. Look in here. Okay, so we are so excited. Look at this. When you put them all together, and this is why it's going to take us a month. I'm so excited to show you. All seven of them are 10 feet tall. In order to get a picture, guys, I think I'm going to have to move the couch. Just so you know, don't think I don't go above, above the 10-foot puzzle and beyond for you. Let me just tell you, I think these things are included in like the 11th grade kit from Timberdoodle. And as you guys know, I have an almost five-year-old and a nine-year-old. But like I said, as homeschoolers, we don't teach down, we teach up. Guys, seven, okay? I will run the facts for you. But there are seven puzzles, and I will do the total on the number of pieces. There are seven puzzles, guys. This is what you need to know. You put them together, and they make a man. The man, is 10 feet tall. The puzzles are normal sized. So basically, as soon as the box arrived, I knew I had bit off more than I could chew. Did that stop me? Hex no, it did not. What did this mean? Family project. That's right guys, we had seven puzzles show up in the mail and we finished them. 17 days. Why? We are puzzle junkies. Oh, did I mention these puzzles are included in the 11th grade curriculum kit? Did you hear me say that my kids are nine and five? What am I doing? First of all, I 
I do not discourage them from doing things just because they are above what they can do. Because, well, I mean, we homeschool. We can do whatever we want. I also love puzzles. So just really quickly, really, really quickly, let's talk about the benefits of puzzles. Not just this puzzle, any puzzle. I don't care what puzzle it is, let's talk about the benefits. Okay, puzzles are not just a hobby. There are actual, real, real, scientifically proven health benefits to puzzles. Did you know that? You may not have known that. True story, true story. So then if you get an awesome, amazing learning puzzle, guess what guys? We have brains operating on all cylinders over here. Okay? Okay. Let's talk about the benefits of puzzles. Benefits of puzzles. Mental exercise. Doing puzzles actually exercises both the left and right sides of the brain, so it is a complete brain activity. It improves your visual spatial reasoning because you're taking a thing here and putting it in a thing over there, but also like a piece of a picture and like a bigger picture, so it, again, all the cylinders. This increases uh, your attention to detail because again, you're taking this small bit, you're looking at it really, really, um, kind of like a micro focus and you're putting it into a bigger picture. So this really does increase your um, attention to detail. And again, guys, we're talking about this as a homeschooling perspective, as a mama's teacher perspective. So we're talking about the learning benefits here. So think about that. When you are handing your children puzzles, it's amazing. Doing puzzles actually, assembling puzzles, doing I'm gonna say doing. Doing puzzles actually increases your short-term memory. So it is stretching and working that aspect of your brain so that you can actually improve it. So it is bettering your memory. It has been scientifically proven, not a lie, that you can, by doing 25 minutes a day of like riddles and puzzles, you can actually increase your IQ score by like four points. Doing puzzles improves your problem solving ability because you have a problem, which is the puzzle piece that you need to solve, solution being the puzzle. And so by doing the two, you're actually flexing the ability to problem solve and adapt your thinking. Doing puzzles increases your productivity because by taking shorter bursts of hyper focus and concentration, you're actually leading to a greater output of your productiveness. So you are increasing your productivity. By having these puzzles out where people can get to them, you are increasing your teamwork and your uh, cooperation, which is great, especially, again, my kids are four years apart, but something that we can do with them and they can do with us that makes us all work together on a common goal is really good for our family. And by solving a puzzle, it actually literally puts you in a better mood because you get a dopamine high. So you are increasing your mood. You are stretching your brain. You are working both sides. So why wouldn't you do puzzles? Guys, puzzles are underrepresented in learning and in everyday life. So let's talk about our experience with this specific puzzle. Again, thank you so much to the people over at Timber Doodle for sending these over. Again, yes, I was overwhelmed. I sure was. I had a little mom moment where I was like, oh, what have I done? Okay, but in the green scheme of things, it worked out really, really well. And I don't even know how much of this me talking is gonna be like a voiceover or like a little Shauna up in the corner because I have so much video of this. I'm so excited. The puzzles are stunning. Wait, did I think? Yes, thank you to the people at Tim Doodle for sending me these things, just in case I forgot because my brain is going like a million miles a minute. You know why? Because I did a puzzle. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, I didn't do a puzzle. We did seven puzzles. Okay, so. Here's what we did as a family. Would you, would I hand these puzzles to my five and nine year old? Hex, no, hex, no, I would not. Uh, the very first thing that I did is I started measuring every surface in my house and I realized that he doesn't fit anywhere, not anywhere. So what I did is I had, um, we'd had a piece of furniture delivered and like the top kept coming all crunched up. And so we kept having to have the company like resend it and it was crunched and it was crunched and it was the wrong color and it was crunched. And so we had these giant pieces of cardboard like everywhere. So we just kind of saved them. So what we did is as we would assemble each piece, each puzzle, we would slide it off of our work service, which was our homeschool table because we did this over summer, uh, which is a great time to do like a family project um, when we weren't having like homeschool classes, right? So we, I'd slide it onto this thing. I had like a stack of cardboard boxes that had like random body parts on it. It was really fun to show people who came over. So anyway, so we get the puzzle out, right? And I, the girls are so excited. Like we're all so excited and we start working on these puzzles. It's kind of like if you sit down to do anything by yourself, like it's like moth to a flame, right? Like 
people can't leave you alone. Like they have to come help. They just have to come help. We had my in-laws come stay with us the weekend. And I mean, I come down, like come out of my room at like 6 a.m. and my father-in-law sitting over there with coffee, like assembling a puzzle because it was amazing. You can't not put the things together. Like you have to touch it. You have to help. It's a communal goal. It was amazing. While I don't know that you necessarily need to get, you know, 4,000 plus pieces of puzzle in your house to form these kind of bonds. It has been such a fantastic experience. I'm, st I'm like giddy. I'm still so excited about these things. They're amazing. I am going to show you the video montage, guys. We did all of them. But let's talk about some of the perks of these puzzles specifically. In all honesty, full disclosure, I did have an issue. I got to one of the arms. And I was putting together the outline because I put together the outline of the puzzle and then the girls would come and help fill in, which was really awesome because they get so excited. Uh, and then one of the puzzles was missing a few pieces, but contacted the people. I had it. I think they might live next door. It was the fastest anything's ever been delivered, like in the history of ever. But anyways, got a replacement all as well. So these puzzles are fantastic. Now, part of what made this really fun is that one, they're gorgeous. They're, they come in these boxes that look like books. They're, they're like a display quality thing. And I really think that if I had enough space, wall space anywhere, I would probably frame them and put them up because they're, I mean, they're stunning, stunningly gorgeous. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. Right on the inside, have, see if I can do this. So like you would think that they would repeat, which they don't. So like this is the picture that you have, but every single thing is labeled. So like as we're working on it together, I'm making my kids use the exact like reference like term to tell me what they're working on or what the things are and then like okay so you have two legs right you think they'd be the same well no because one is like muscle and nerve and the other one is like bone and arteries like it was they're so well thought they're such i mean just really quality quality things i'm i'm so excited that i have them in my house and now i'm going to give you like a little compilation I'm not saying that you need to be buying your kids things out of the 11th grade kid that's not what i'm saying what i am saying is that sometimes we forget the benefits of the simple things. A puzzle is simple, just in its, and they've been around for a million years, your grandparents do them, which by the way, it helps old people keep their mental focus and awareness much longer by doing puzzles, so I'm just saying. It's, it's been such a joy to have these in our home, and there's, there's not a lot, like, I mean, we enjoy a lot of the pieces that do come in our kits, but this specifically had us working together. So I don't, I don't care if you get this puzzle or a different puzzle. I highly recommend these puzzles. They're amazing. Uh, but I think we just forget about how easy it can be to have family time and things like that. And it wasn't even necessarily planned. Like the puzzle just lived out and everybody would come and gather and put it together and work on it together. And it's been one of those things that it just unexpectedly awesome if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping. I'm gonna cut over. Guys, the puzzles, they're so cool. So I just, you're gonna, okay, yeah, I'm gonna love it. Cause I took like, I don't know, millions and millions and millions of like videos and snaps and shots and anyways. So basically everyone loves the puzzles. You should get some puzzles. That's the, well, the short, the moral of this story. Anyways, fantastic. So I'm gonna cut over and show you that. Okay, this puzzle has some really tricky areas because like this is a straight edge against a straight edge. So definitely a trickier bit of puzzling. See, get some pieces. Where you at, Em? down there. 
Flip it, Marilyn, flip it. Flip it, flip it. Flip it, flip it. Keep going. There we go. Here we go, last piece. Last piece, bum, 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 bum. Here, you help. Everyone help. Bum 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 ba bum ba bum ba 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 Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. I know, I sure did. I sure as heck did. I forget about the amazing of puzzles, and now I'm thinking about all the puzzles we should put together. So, I'm, I mean, if we need to learn anything, get a puzzle. Get a puzzle. These puzzles, the Dr. Livingston's Anatomy Jigsaw Puzzles. Guys, they're gorgeous. They're a wonderful learning tool. And again, our family came, it could have been, I mean, it's not even like we've been put together like some of the Disney Kincaid puzzles and things like that. And we, we always work in them together, but this was so much different because I do feel like my children learned some things coming out. I learned some things, who am I kidding? I learned a lot coming out of this. Um, it was fantastic. It was really fantastic. And honestly, I am floored with how well my five and nine year old did with this. Again, it's not even recommended to like 11th grade, but don't underestimate what your kids can do, right? Piece it together. Piece together learning. That's what this is about. I don't, you know, I'm gonna give you, don't let me forget, I think I already probably did the totals, but just in case, message me or I'll put it down below if I did forget. Guys, I hope you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. This all goes back to one of the reasons that we absolutely love the Timber Doodle Kits. Who would have thought? Who, I mean, just who would have thought? I love the fun, the fun learning that gets put into these things right up my alley. Really suits me really well, and I we can't get enough. We love it. Thanks again, folks at Timber Doodle.